Hey guys, I'm gonna get back here for that video, guys. Welcome back to the episode of my no clip series. We no clip inside and outside stadiums in Man 25. This is our next on the docket relocation stadium in Man 25. So if you are playing Man 25 franchise mode, you can relocate to this stadium right here, which honestly looks really, really good on the inside. Not really good on the outside, we'll look at that in a second. But on the inside, what you can see actually looks pretty damn good. You got fully, you know, optimized suites here, which again, look actual realistic, look perfect, look like, you know, one for one for the most part. You got other suites again as we go on this, you know, set of first tier level here. It looks pretty good. And I, again, you don't always see that when it comes to some of these relocation stadiums. Sometimes they're kind of wishy washy. Sometimes they look like crap on the inside. These, this one actually looks pretty detailed. Uh, the locker room is kind of janky, and you're going to see this on the outside as well. This stadium entirely doesn't look bad but it's not complete. For whatever reason, this is the most non-complete stadium in Madden, which is weird because this is not a stadium that was in last year's Madden. So this is a brand new stadium, the Madden 25, that was not in Madden 24, and it is not really complete at all. So, for example, you go in the locker room, right? The ceiling isn't done, the sides aren't done, none of this is done. This is kind of crazy, to be honest, how incomplete this stadium actually is. Um, which, again, we have not seen with any other stadium in Madden. This is the only stadium that really looks like they were creating it and then just gave up. You got an ambulance in here, which is the first ambulance in a locker room. You got a floating lights on both sides here. Um, you don't really have the roof for the ceiling done. None of that is done. It's... Again, very glitched out. It's weird how little effort they put into the stadium for it to actually look pretty good, but still be really, really unfinished. Um, not like what we usually see from EA Sports. Ironically enough, when it comes to their stadiums, they actually do go a little hardcore for them. So they usually go a little bit, you know, extra, and they make it look pretty damn good. This is <clears throat> on the opposite point of view of pretty damn good. I'll say it like that. All right, so the outside is kind of janky as well. Um, unlike most stadiums where you actually go to the outside and you see an actual stadium, on this side, it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, obviously you can see right through the bleacher seats on this side, which is kind of weird. You can also see down here that's not completed in any way possible. And it just gets worse and worse as we go around the stadium. So, this whole outside here is not completed. Again, this side isn't even completed. None of this is. It's such a weird mistake slash lack of effort from EA Sports. Because usually they don't put time and effort into the state. I mean, into the gameplay. They put it into stuff like this, the stadiums on the inside and outside. But this is not the stadium that they cared about, apparently, slash they gave any effort for. Every other stadium in franchise mode cared about. Which, again, you know how I look at it like this, right? If they aren't going to care in men franchise mode when it comes to relocation stadiums, then just don't care about all of them. Why well, care about everyone but one? Which kind of is so weird to me. Like, just care about, don't care about, either don't care about any of them or care about all of them. That's kind of how I look at it. Uh, is it a big deal? Absolutely no. Um, but if you do play Madden Franchise Mode and hey, listen, you're really trying to make this stadium a stadium of your own, you want it to look good. You want it to have, you know, like all the shebangers and you kind of just want it to be like, you know, as good as possible, especially if you're trying to immerse yourself into Madden franchise mode. You know, really think of yourself like an actual owner or maybe coach. Stuff like that. So again, like I said, it's one of those situations where it's like, for someone who plays fra franchise mode, I have my whole entire life, and love franchise mode. It's one of those aspects of, you want it to be as realistic as possible. It's why the franchise community has complained so much over the years. 
of EA giving us crap products because, you know, the point of it is a football simulation, right? You want an actual football simulation, you want it as realistic as possible. But for this stadium, again, it is what it is. Uh, it's not a bad stadium on the surface. If you just look at it from the field level, it's fine. It's perfectly okay. Uh, just weird how outside of the field level, they kind of just gave up. But again, like I said, if they did it for every single stadium, I wouldn't be surprised. But they don't. See you guys in the next one, though. Peace out.